No, we're, we're doing it together. What's up? Okay. All right, how old is this house, Brendan? 2014. All right, so we got a 2014 house, also known as a cookie cutter model. And some people think that these houses are gonna be perfect, but we still find stuff, we still find it. What do you think? Oh, we're gonna get them. We're gonna get them good. All right, gang, we are out here on the 2014 build on the north side. Let's go check it out. This is an expansion joint. These are designed to help cracks, to help prevent cracks in bricks. This is a, an exterior, a heavy exterior grate caulking. We want to make sure that it stays sealed so that there's no moisture or bugs coming in the house. And then right, right next to it, there's some weep holes above the window. These weep holes are designed to help ventilate moisture from the wall. And, and right up here, we have a secondary drain pan drain line. It's above a window so that you can see when it's dripping water. It's important to be able to see that because when that's dripping, there's something wrong with your air conditioner. That means that the primary line has backed up and is now spilling over into the pan and coming outside. You should check your air conditioner right away. <laughs> yeah. Here we are on the north side of the house. I get asked this question a lot. There's some green growth happening. This is something normal, it's just moss growing on the north side of the house and you can spray it off with a pressure washer once a year. So a common pro problem that we find with Hardy is it's not fastened correctly. If this one is a little bit loose, not too bad, but in a high wind situation, this will flap off. And then oh, right, over, right next to that, there's a corner pop. This happens during thermal expansion. The bricks expand faster than the concrete and snap goes the concrete. All right, starting off, we have an HVAC unit in the closet. We got the coils and the furnace here. Uh, this one's done pretty well. One of the things that sticks out to me uh, that it's done well is they have the door and around the exterior, it's all completely sealed. So we don't have a lot of air movement in here. It's only pulling air from the return, which is good. You have a 12 inches, taking air from 12 inches from the top and 12 inches uh, from the bottom. So we have circulation in there so it won't run out of combustible air. If you run out of combustible air, you'll actually get roll out and it can burn down the house. <laughs> uh, the next thing uh, that sticks out to me is uh, there's no pan. A uh, pan's not required on a unit like this, but I still like for a pan to be in place with an alarm. Um, let me see. And then the final thing that sticks out to me on this unit is uh, we notice that there's CSST. CSST known, is known to have problems with uh, lightning strikes. So what we want to do is make sure it's properly bonded and then we'll let them know that the CSST is in place. So when we came upstairs, we noticed a patch up, up here. It's a pretty good sized patch. We don't just want to document this. We want to find out why there's a patch. So after we made our pass, we went up in the attic space over here and I found two ducts that, were, that looked like they had been touching. It's a possibility that they were causing some condensation, but we also used our moisture meter and our thermal scanner to verify that there's no active moisture there. And then on further review, it appears that someone fell through the roof because there's some <laughs> missing insulation. It's kind of dipped down like that up there. And uh, oops. <laughs> oh, and if you like these videos, you should like and subscribe right away. Hit that button right down there. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. Look at this party. It's pulling loose. So it's right too fast. And down here we have this quarter pop. This is pretty normal. It happens whenever the bricks thermally expand faster than the concrete. And that goes concrete.